While there's no doubt that the former wife of Britain's Prince Andrew has cashed in on her associations with the royal family, she can't really be called a gold digger. The story goes that when the time came to discuss the terms of her divorce settlement back in 1996, Sarah Ferguson was asked by the Queen what she required, to which she replied simply, your friendship. Fergie, who has retained her title of Duchess of York, has since claimed that she was happy to walk away from the marriage with a mere £300,000 for the sake of preserving a healthy relationship with the royal family. Though terribly noble, that stance seemed a little at odds with the extravagant spending and inappropriate behaviour with other men that kept the media so entertained during her marriage. However, she later managed to put some perspective on that by explaining that the loneliness and boredom of royal life had contributed to all the mischief. And indeed, since the divorce, she's been true to her word. Despite the media's constant attempts to discredit her, she continues to speak well of the royal family and has remained on great terms with Andrew and her daughters, Eugenie and Beatrice. She is the best advice giver I could ever, I could possibly ever wish for. And she's a sort of, she leads by, exa she leads by example, really. And her, and her behavior kind of is one that I really would like to follow. Her ability to poke fun at herself has helped her cope with all the ribbing in the tabloids, who branded her the Duchess of Pork in response to her weight gain in the wake of the divorce. In fact, she ended up having the last laugh by losing the extra pounds and declaring in an ad for Weight Watchers, Duchess of Pork, not anymore. She then went on to earn a fortune as the weight loss program spokesperson. What I've learned is that diet is a no-no word. At Weight Watchers, it's not a word we use. It's a lifestyle change. It's about understanding the balance of life. So you can eat anything you want, but just keep to, to the points or keep to the core plan, and you can lose weight. The contract with Weight Watchers was just the first of the deals she cut in the US to begin paying off the multi-million dollar debt she'd amassed during her marriage. After that came endorsement contracts with Wedgwood China and cosmetics company Avon, as well as a lucrative career as an after-dinner speaker. By 2005, she'd become such a celebrity stateside that she even had a somewhat fattening sandwich named after her at New York's famous Stage Deli. And Fergie was only too happy to debunk the stuffy image of the royal family and do an honest day's work. A lot of the public think, you know, uh, you know, maybe people are unapproachable. Well, I certainly am not unapproachable, and I think it's good that we um, that we're on the public stage. We do a job, and today I'm I'm saying, look, you can have your your sandwich, but just don't eat such big portion sizes, and perhaps use a uh, you know, like French may have just brought out this delicious uh, low-fat mayonnaise. Perhaps use that. More recently, in between her busy schedule of charity work, business and public appearances, she's also found the time to become a film producer, raising the finance for the 2009 royal biopic Young Victoria.